I grew up with a blue willow platter that I thought was so fascinating when I was a child. It only came out for holidays. And all the elements that are in the blue willow design, which is a, an old design most people will be familiar with, came from England, goes way back to the 1700s, I think. And it's, uh, it's a takeoff on the exports from China. It's not really a Chinese pattern. It's made up in England. But it's one of the most long-lasting patterns. It's still sold to this day, and there are a lot of blue willow collectors. Some of the elements that you always see in the blue willow pattern, this is, uh, uh, these are just some of the design motifs from the pattern. There is always a pair of doves. Mine are sleeping this time. Um, and these are the stylizations of trees that you see. There's some kind of pagoda house always. And there's the two doves. The boat is almost always in there. And uh, it's all the stylizations. And I've just blown them up in the, the blue willow plate. It would not be enlarged like this, it would be, it's a very detailed pattern. Um, I, I come back to this every few years, I'll get an idea and think of something that would be fun to do in Blue Willow. And at this time it started with um, wanting to add some Chinese imagery that was not in the pattern, that, was, that we think of as Chinese, like panda bears. And I just thought cookie jar because the pandas are, eating their treats, uh, bamboo, all the usual stylizations there, and the boat. And then this one, I put a dragon in to guard the cookies. With all the same stylizations. The fence is another thing which is always in a blue willow pattern. Turn that this way for now. Um, and then I decided I was having so much fun that I would do some cups and make them all different and be playful with them. Um, salt files, that's the, the orangey tinge comes from this, we call it blushing potters, and potters love that when you get some blushing in the salt kiln of that orange tinge. Um, the story has, this one has a little man, that's another thing that often appears, or always appears in a blue willow platter. Um, these are the bad guys actually in the story. Um, a story I didn't know as a child, but it's um, about a, a Chinese emperor who wants to marry his beautiful young daughter to um, a rich old merchant, and she's not happy about that. She falls in love with his clerk and the two of them set sail in a little boat for an island to elope, and uh, he orders them killed. And I think that's what these little men are with the scrolls. They're the, the henchmen there taking the orders to have them killed. Um, and here's the, the gods intervene at the last minute and turn them into a pair of doves. So that's where the doves are from. So they all have little elements, and this is just a design motif just the here that are in the pattern. And this one's just the, the trees, all the tree stylizations that are on the platter. All a little different.